a world title. But they put up a hell of a fight. And while T1 grew immensely, at the end of the day, it was not enough to stop Don Juan from making their way to the finals. And while Faker will have another dance again, this was Khan's last. Come back stronger next year. Look at Damon in 2019 getting knocked out by G2. They come back the next year after having experience, and they are a well-oiled machine. I think we might see a very similar story with this T1 roster next year. It was so interesting, and I, I just feel like so much of the series came down to which was the team that had agency in the draft? Which was the team that had the go-buttons, had the ability to dictate the pace of the game?